How can you protect yourself from hackers on social media? If you live in the 21st century, odds are you have at least one social media account. Whether that's one of the big ones like TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook, or it's one of the more niche ones like Discord, Telegram, or Reddit. You probably have at least one account somewhere. Heck, if you're watching this video on YouTube, odds are you're logged into a YouTube account. Cyber criminals are absolutely hunting for access to these accounts. Their goal is to access these accounts so they can then pivot to your friend's account and download either malware, try to get them to download crypto miners, or even try to get them to pass them their banking information or any other number of malicious things. Most of the time, this tends to happen over DMs. And believe it or not, there is a term in cybersecurity for whenever an attacker is trying to send you a DM for malicious purposes, and I will let you try to guess in the comments on what that term is. Now, this can all be a real problem. I'm sure we all at least know somebody that's been impacted in some way by these kinds of attacks. I know that I certainly know people for sure. The thing is, this happens on just about every single social media platform. So regardless of whichever one you're on, it's not unique in its defenses, it's also vulnerable. If people are there, there's a strong likelihood that there's at least one person there to do something shady. Consider also that social media spans the entirety of the internet across the entire globe and has literally billions of people amongst the very various social media platforms, and yeah, you're gonna have a lot of bad things going on. That can include you and the accounts that you manage. According to a study by Dataprot in 2019, the expected number of robot accounts was expected to rise dramatically, and that was back in 2019. This video is being filmed in 2022, so we can assume that those robot accounts are already on social media right now. And those robot accounts can do anything from automatically forward malicious links through DMs or promote mis information on the timeline. Pair this with the fact that they polled every age demographic and every single one of them, at least 92% of them do not trust social media platforms to properly manage their own security. Fortunately, however, you're not completely screwed. There are some things that you can do to protect your own accounts. And in fact, these tips can go a long way. We're going to talk about three tips that you can implement to better your account security and make sure that attackers are not going to take over your account. The first tip is to hit the like button so this video can spread to new audiences and we can raise awareness on how to secure social media accounts. Okay, okay, that's not the actual first point, but that definitely does help in raising awareness and it also helps the people that you know that also have social media if you do share this video out. Let's definitely spread the message and raise awareness on this. Now the first step to securing your social media account, beware of social engineering. This can actually be one of the sneakiest ways that attackers are able to take over social media accounts and yet it can actually be one of the most effective. The embarrassing part is it's entirely the attacker just tricking you into handing them over access or worse your money or other sensitive information. Even worse instead of using something code based they're really just tricking you as a human. Now this generally happens in the user DMs although sometimes it can happen on the timeline with a post or a comment and it oftentimes will happen with a malicious link involved. That can be one indicator that this is going on. Their goal could also be to to spread misinformation to drive a narrative. Now, social engineering can be actually kind of easy to catch once you know the indicators to keep an eye on. If an account attempts to message you with no prior engagement and you don't really know who that account is, then automatically have your guard up. Be especially sensitive to those first messages or early messages that include a link in them. That isn't to say that all new DMs are social engineering. Sometimes people just message you out of the blue. However, be incredibly sensitive to those messages so you're not getting duped by a robot account or by a malicious account. You may need to do some additional digging into the account itself to verify if it is an actual human. If there is nothing going on on the page itself, if it was just created like the same month or months before it messaged you, that is an indicator that something fishy is going on. However, bear in mind that even robot accounts can be designed to randomly engage with different users on social media. They might either like certain posts, they might share other posts, they may even comment on posts in an attempt to mimic actual user behavior. So definitely bear that in mind, keep that in the back of your head. You'll really ultimately have to use your best judgment when assessing these accounts on if they're legit or if they're malicious. Now, if you encounter something like this, just report it as spam and then delete the message from your inbox. Under no circumstances should you click the link. That's probably a dangerous link that might even drop malware on you. If you do report it as spam, that basically lets the social media platform security staff know that that account should be investigated 
investigated for being something suspicious. And they'll basically make a judgment call on if it is in fact suspicious. Next, be sure to use a strong password. And this is actually one of the best tips that you can have. I'm going to ask you three questions. And if you answer yes to any of these three questions, you should go change your password immediately. One, do you use the same password for multiple accounts? Two, is your password 10 characters or less? And then three, does your password use plain English words that you can look up in the dictionary and don't use numbers or special characters? If you answered yes to any one of these, you should go change your password. That said, I do have some excellent news for you. You can use something like a password manager to easily create incredibly long and complex passwords, secure them in an encrypted vault, and then auto-fill them whenever you're logging back into an account. And you can actually use NordPass to do just this. Going to nordpass.com slash studiosec or using the affiliate link either pinned in the comments or in the video description, you can get a free month with a two-year membership. It's quite affordable, it's incredibly effective, and it's going to help you secure not just your social media accounts, but all of your other accounts as well. My personal advice for your password would be to get NordPass, obviously, create a 25 character complex password with all the special characters and numbers that you possibly could want, and then save it and then just autofill it, instead of having to remember a shorter plain English password. Now pair that tip with this last security tip and your account will actually be a fortress. Not necessarily unhackable, I mean that doesn't exist, but it will be much more secure than it was before. Three, enable multi-factor authentication. Now this exists on every social media platform that I've checked, which includes the 12 largest social media platforms, at least here in the US. To do this, go to the settings on your social media app, go to privacy and security, and then look for the enable multi-factor authentication or two-factor authentication setting. It's, it's that easy. With that, anytime you log in, you will get a code either texted or emailed to you and that basically verifies that you are the one that is logging into your account. If that code is not provided, then the login doesn't occur. So let's say a hacker tries to log into your account and let's say that they actually have your password. If they don't have the code for multi-factor authentication, then they're not gonna log into your account and you know that something bad just happened. It is an extra layer of security that again, it's not perfect, but it's an extra layer that adds incredible complexity to an attacker's attack to what the hacker is trying to do if they're going to successfully break into your account. The best idea is to layer on complexity and ultimately that is going to prevent attackers from going through with a full attack. They'll basically just abandon it because it's too hard and they're really attacking based on ease. Now with me saying that that adds complexity, don't think that that actually is going to be too complex. It's actually going to be still super simple and easy to log into your accounts. Again, you can autofill your credentials with NordPass and then you use the code that's texted to you and that's it, then you're logged in. It's actually easier than trying to remember and hitting forget password because you can't remember your old password every time you try to log in. Now these are some powerful tips that you should definitely be implementing. You should definitely hit the like button and then you should share it with some friends, especially if you're not sure if they are implementing the best security or if you've heard that they could definitely use better security. Now if you wanna learn a little bit more about password managers before spending your money, absolutely great. Check out this video to learn more about NordPass and other password managers they all do tend to follow the same steps. Also be sure to subscribe for more cybersecurity advice and leave a comment with your favorite social media platform and your least favorite social media platform. We'll have a debate down below on which platform is the best. With all that, I'll see you all next time.